What's going on, everybody? Nick here. So I was in Boston working. Um, come home to find out that Ben McAdoo has benched Eli Manning. Has benched Eli Manning for Geno Smith. Are we serious with Ben McAdoo? Look, at what point can somebody come down and just remove this guy from the sidelines? And then you can go and you can remove Jerry Reese from the GM box. Because the fact that you are now going to make Eli Manning the guy, this is the reason why we're not winning. Eli Manning. Where's your running game? You got a million injuries at receiver. Guys can't even catch balls. 19 drop balls for this season. It's fourth. Every year it's the same freaking thing with this team. And you got a guy like Ben McAdoo, who, by the way, only takes shots personally at Eli Manning. A, a guy that's actually accomplished something in this league. Does not call out Odell Beckham Jr. Does not call out all these other guys. Yeah, he sat a guy or two or suspended him. They should have been cut! You walk away from your team, you get cut! You guys walk all over him. You mean to tell me that... The one guy you're going to have a set of balls with and do something is Eli Manning. Are you kidding me? The guy, and by the way, he won't do it because he has too much class, but I would go into the next press conference, I'd have the two rings on each one of my middle fingers, and I'd shoot them right at him. And go, you know what, Ben? I've accomplished something in this league, and I've never called you out for your terrible coaching, your lack of discipline, and your complete and utter loss of this team. What is Eli Manning supposed to do with that team? And by the way, I think two, at least two, maybe three times, he's taken that dog shit of an offense, has driven it down the field, and given his team the lead in the last two minutes of the game just for his team to choke it back away. And McAdoo is going to have the balls to, 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 to sit Eli Manning for Geno Smith? Are we insane? Look, if you had a quarterback that may be the future, all right. And even then, I probably wouldn't do it because I don't think Eli's time is done. It's not the right time. But I don't think you take and you sit Eli Manning for Geno Smith. I don't get it. I don't get it. And you know what? The owner, I, I really, and I, the owner, the, the Giants owners are probably, you know, the, 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 they're like the Roonies. The, the Mares are like the Roonies, right? And they're great owners. People who worked in the organization have said it all the way down the line. But the owner needs to step in here and before Sunday needs to pull the plug on this. If he has to get involved. I would, I would almost, and I, I can't, yeah, you know, picture me as the owner of the Giants. Uh, he is, um, you, he, I would step in and just go, I, I can't have this. This guy has been my franchise. This guy has brought me two Super Bowls. And whether you like it or not, all you knuckleheads, he has two Super Bowl MVPs. He went on, I don't have to go through the list of things, but he went on the road twice. Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre in Green Bay, the freaking great Tony Romo, beat all these people, Tom Brady twice in a Super Bowl. And this is the guy, this is the guy that gets benched. You have players leave the damn team. They left the team. And they got suspended for one game. And the guy that's been there, the guy that's accomplished, the guy that won't say a bad word is going to get benched for Geno Smith? Give me a give me a friggin' break. Give me a break. They cannot get this guy out of here fast enough. Him and Jerry Reese, get the hell out of here. You first of all, Jerry Reese your drafting was is abysmal. You have no line and no running game. What are you doing? And your defense can't stop anybody. Like, what are we doing? I don't like to see coaches get fired during the season. This shit, this, he has to go. I'd fire him tomorrow. I'm telling you right now. As soon, if I was the owner, as soon as he, as soon as, as soon as Ben McAdoo would have said um, that Eli Manning is being benched for Geno Smith, his freaking phone would have rang. Ring, ring. Yeah, pack your shit. Get out of here. You're gone. For, I would be, I'm embarrassed as a Giant fan. I'd be embarrassed if I own the organization to have this go down like this. This is not how they should treat this guy. It's a disaster. I don't even know what else to say. Yeah, that's right. And all you knuckleheads that wanted to bend, yep, get rid of Eli. Well, this is what you got. Here you go, idiots. 
Geno Smith is your guy. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna win games. You break. You break. Absolute disaster. We become the Jets. Here we go. Here, let's tank games to get a pick every year and suck for four decades. That's what we want to turn into the New York Jets. You want to tank every year to get better draft picks every year, but eventually you have to win. For this team to do this is just an utter disaster. If I was Eli Manning, I don't, you know, guys just got more class. He's got more class than I would because I would just tell the guy, I, I, right now, I just, I would tell him to just shove it. I mean, it's absurd sitting a guy like that. I got that off my chest. Went a little long on that rant, but, you know. I, there's, there's no, there's no, there are no words. And by the way, for a guy that has taken the biggest ass kicking behind that line, not only this year, but in years past, to go on the road and take one of the all-time great beatings in San Francisco, to go to the Super Bowl again and beat Tom Brady again, and you're going to sit there and treat this guy like a second-class citizen here? By the way, he's going to come back and be in the ring of honor. He's going to come back, and every time he comes back to New York, he's going to get treated like a rock star, superstar. You want to know why? Because he's done something here. He's done it in New York. Ben McAdoo is going to be gone, and we're never going to hear his name again as a head coach because other owners are watching this debacle disaster, and they're taking notes. If Ben McAdoo finds another job as a head coach, I don't know who it would be. It would be the Browns. There you go. It would be the Browns or it would be the Jets, those two organizations, because they love to run their teams into the ground. They love to be terrible. That's it. Let me know what you think. Actually, I don't care what you think, but let me know anyway. See ya. Yeah.